Hello everyone. What if you don't have enough data and only have small set of test data to work with? This is the challenge that we will tackle today in this tutorial. In this session, we will learn how to use zero shot text classification technique combined with encoder only model or embedding model. The cool thing about zero shot classification is that it allows you to classify text without needing any training at all. Here's how it works. We will input some text along with possible labels into the model and the model will figure out which label best fits the text without having seen any examples beforehand. The steps are pretty simple. The first step is creating embeddings for input text or input documents from the test data. The next step is converting the labels from numbers that is from 0 to 1 into readable labels. For example, 0 could be negative movie review and 1 could be positive movie review. The last step is computing the similarity between the input text and each label. If the input text is more similar to negative movie review embeddings than to positive movie review embeddings, it will be classified as 0. Otherwise, it will be classified as 1. The approach is pretty straightforward. So without wasting any time, let's go into coding. We will be implementing this zero shot text classification in Google Colab and for that we need to change the runtime to any GPU which is available. The first step we need to do is install the necessary libraries. We also require sentence transformers. Now let's load the data set. We will be using the same data set that is Rotten Tomatoes data set which consists of movie reviews and these reviews are classified or labeled as positive reviews and negative reviews. From datasets import load underscore datasets. In the previous two tutorials on text classification, we have used the same data set. So if you want to know in depth about exploratory data analysis of this particular data, please refer to those tutorials. So it has downloaded the data and we can see that it has three splits, train, validation and test split. In train, we have text and label associated with the text and in train, we have about 8530 data points, similar to validation and similar to test. Now let's quickly explore this data. So if we print data of train of first element that is 0 at index 0, uh, we can see that this is the text and this is the label which is associated with this text. Now 1 means positive review and 0 means negative review. If we want to see any example of negative, we can write here 7000 and let's print. So this is the negative review, like it won't be long before you will spy and etc etc. Now the next step is directly loading embedding model. Now this model will be used to convert text into embeddings. We will be using sentence transformers library. And then the model part. Here we will be using this sentence transformer functionality to load this model. Sentence transformers all mpnet base v2. You can load any model of your choice and all the model listing you can see it in MTEB benchmark that is massive text embedding benchmark. Let's run this block of code. Initially it will download this model and after downloading yeah it is now ready to use. Now let's generate embeddings of labels. This is the second step. So these are the labels 0 and 1. So here in order to uh, convert embeddings, we will convert these labels into human readable form and then we will convert those embeddings. So here we have label embeddings equal to model dot encode. First is we will encode negative movie review which will stand for 0 and then we have positive movie review which will stand for 1. Let's run this block of code. Now that our embeddings are prepared, let's print them and also the shape. So this embedding, it stands for negative and this embedding stands for positive movie review. 
here we can see that the shape is 2 comma 768 here 2 means the two class labels and 768 means each of the class label is represented as a vector of 768 dimension now we also need to generate embeddings for test data in order to do this we will have a variable test embeddings we will use model dot encode and we will call data of test test and we need to encode all the text uh, contained in the test variables and then show progress bar equal to true now this show progress bar equal to true argument will display a progress bar uh, during the embedding process let's run this block of code so this is the progress bar uh, which i was talking about now that uh, the embeddings for test data is also loaded or generated let's actually do zero shot classification zero shot text classification or movie reviews classification in order to do this uh, we need to have a cosine similarity function from sklearn matrix pairwise so from sklearn dot matrix dot pairwise import cosine similarity then we will require numpy package then we will compute a similarity matrix similarity matrix would be between cosine similarity it will be between test embeddings and label embeddings and finally we will get predictions which will be uh, the maximum of either positive or negative so arj max of similarity matrix and axis will be equal to 1 so for each document in the test set uh, we will find the index of the label with the highest cosine similarity score let's run this block of code now that our predictions are generated now these predictions are simply a list consisting of zeros and ones wherein zero is standing for negative movie review the prediction and one is standing for predicted positive movie review now let's compute the classification report or confusion matrix in order to do this we need classification report from sklearn dot matrix we will have the true labels from data of test of label and finally we will build this classification report classification report first we will give the true labels then we will give our predictions and then finally our target names so i can directly co uh, copy paste the target names from here in list paste and uh, finally we can print this particular report okay we have uh, got one error okay sklearn dot it is a typographical error matrix hooray we have implemented zero shot text classification using only embeddings without using any of the training data and without doing any training just by using cosine similarity score between text embeddings and the label embeddings we have got this particular solution so the overall accuracy is 78 percent which is quite good considering that we have not done any training at all so that's it guys we have implemented zero shot text classification using this embedding model if you have any questions or doubt or need any clarification in any of the step please feel free to drop them in the comments and i am always there to help you all don't forget to share this video and stay tuned for more tutorials coming your way see you in the next one thank you